doing? Okay, so this is going to be my uh, Rapido RDC review. Uh, I ordered this Pacific Grade Eastern RDC and uh, from Rapido Trains, and uh, I just want to give you my general, you know, point of view and opinion on it from a modeler's uh, position. You know. Um, maybe more so than just a collector. I mean, if you're a collector and you don't have one of these, then you're missing out. It's as simple as that, right? Like, I don't need to go on about trying to sell it to you because it's the best RDC on the market by far. Like, it's the gold standard. I mean, Rapido really, you know, they, they outdid themselves on this one for sure. You can see the passion in the model. Uh, just the detail, uh, the attention to the prototype, um, and as you can see, it runs really smooth. And I read the manual right here, most of it anyway. And uh, it's you know it's chock full of humor and uh, really really good uh, historical information. Probably one of the better manuals that have ever been written, I think, on a model locomotive. Um, you know nobody's perfect, but let's give kudos where they're deserved, right? Now, let me just uh, tell you what I think is ugly about it and what is bad about it and what is really good about it. Uh, first of all, like the ugly. Now, this is subjective, right? But as you can see, the undercarriage is this dark navy blue color. Um, I don't know if you can tell from this angle, but it's... Uh, I mean, I don't think that's prototypically correct. It might, it, it may be, but I doubt it. Um, and it's probably because I waited years after they were released, you know. I mean, normally collectors would, would prepay and get the one that they want. But, you know, this might be just, you know, leftover production put together, you know. But then again, as a modeler, like I'm okay with that. Like I just see the model. And if the model itself, like undecorated is good, then I don't care, right? But for a collector, you might. Um, now in terms of the bad, um, like that was the ugly. That's about it, if I can even call it that, because I'm gonna repaint it anyway. But the, like I would say that the bad on this one is that one of the, uh, number boards was sort of pooched actually not on this side but let me turn it around here um it's on the front here um what i'll do is is i'll just insert a pick for you just to point that out okay Okay, so what I did was, and this is a testimony to the service uh, of Rapido, that they do stand behind their product. Uh, if you're honest about it, and uh, you can provide some sort of proof, I guess a purchase, you know, that you're the original owner, uh, then uh, they're, uh, you know, they're true to their, to their word, right? Within two weeks, they sent me this from Rapido, the part uh, like, I don't know what's in there. There might be two or, or one, but it's a whole new number board. So thank you, Rapido, for that. Within two weeks, they, you know, like I sent them a letter, proof of purchase, showed them a photo, and they just had no quibbles about it, were very kind and courteous and professional. And so I'm really impressed with that. So that sort of erases the bad, doesn't it? And then in terms of the ugly, well, I can erase that as well. And I'm not sure if that's always the case, but I know there's there's other you know, well-respected modelers uh, in the YouTube culture that have had the same thing. I think with New York Central they had that, but that might be prototypical. I don't know for sure. Now the good of this model is just over the top. This is, you know, obviously the best RDC on the market. There's no way like that. Like there's no what like there's no competition.
Here's a short run-by for you so you can see the roof and the associated detail on this model which is superb and second to none. Don't mind the hesitancy in the crawl because it's not even broken in, it's brand new. Look at the roof vents, the photo etching. I studied this model against the prototype photos. It's, uh, they nailed it. They really nailed this model. Look at the window, the, the, the blinds staggered like that, and the interior. You know, the paint work, the stenciling, it's perfect. Even the color, PGE, they nailed it. Um, and with this model here, like, I mean, just the, uh, you know, the louvers here on the front, like, especially on the PGE version, you know, on the, and the headlight here and the horn, like this one's a five chime, looks like a Nathan, but um, I think they called it something else in the manual, but it's a five chime horn, which is cool. And then they also say that you can, that there's LEDs back here. If you want to install the center old style Mars light that uh, they had on the front of these, um, you know, there's the photo etch, you know, on the top here. I, I mean, it's just, I mean, I don't know what to say really. It's, it's just a work of art. Like even the Sanders, like I rode on these on the West coast here on the Squamish sub and, this is how I remember them, but they were in the BC rail livery, but you know, the very latest one. Um, this is like even the steps here, um, you know, the grab handles, they're all good. Um, and they even give you a really nice selection of uh, parts as well, you know, um, to enhance it or change uh, where some versions may be varied from one to the other. And in terms of running, uh, this is just a DC version. And, you know, they recommend that you break it in. Like it had a little bit of uh, sort of jerkiness, but it's almost gone now. And I've only run it back and forth on the layout in 10 feet here, um, you know, a couple of times, right? You know, maybe half a dozen times. That's that's the DC, right? It's funny when you run DCC all the time and you get onto the old standard DC. You know, you kind of flub it a bit. Eh? But um, yeah, like it's just such a nice, beautiful model. You know, I'm really happy with it. Um, I think that uh, you know, with DCC sound. Uh, you know, like a really nice set of speakers, uh, you know, installed in this, you know, would probably, you know, really bring this thing up to uh, snuff, eh? You can get them uh, already with sound, but I chose just to get the DCC only version. And uh, as far as the 60s, 70s, uh, this fits right in, you know, with the Dairy Queen. Um, but I'm probably going to update it. Or maybe I'll just leave it as a heritage because they actually have this actual version, BC-33, um, in the museum up in Brackendale in Squamish, BC. So along with, I think, BC-31. So I can leave it in this particular um, PGE livery and uh, still, you know, run it prototypically on my layout. So yeah, so congratulations to Rapido. I think you did a really good job. I'm really happy with it as a modeler and even as a collector. You know, I think it's a, you know, beautiful uh, piece of work. Okay, so for those of you that are considering getting one, I don't know what the availability is on them right now, but um, like I say, I waited and waited. You know, I'm cheap. <laughs> but sometimes when you hold out, you miss out. Okay. So thanks for tuning in. Um, I hope that helps for those of you that were wondering about the Rapido RDC. Bud car, as they call them. And uh, if you don't have one already and you're thinking about one, uh, there isn't a better one out there. In my you know, opinion and experience. OK, so thanks for tuning in and I hope you have a great day. <music>